Hello, so let's look at the pitches and the counts for the final countdown. Starting with the key signature. As you see, we have a treble clef and two sharps. Two sharps, one is on F sharp, which means that everything on F, like that and that and that and that and etc., will be in F sharp automatically. And anything on C, all C's will be C sharp. So there, there's a C sharp instead of a C. Two sharps is the key for B minor or D major. This is in B minor. Now the original is in F sharp minor, which means that if you try to play this with your recording, it might sound a little bit weird. Um, however, it might sound kind of cool because B minor is a perfect fifth away from F sharp minor. So now let's look at the time signature. Common time means that there are four beats per measure, and uh, actually four quarter notes per measure. That's what that means, four for four. And um, so each measure totals up to four quarter notes worth of music. And now let's just try looking at the form. As we see, it goes straight through, four measures per line with no repeats. However, you may notice some patterns. The first four measures is exactly the same as the second four measures, which is exactly the same as the third four measures, but the last line is different. So really, we could call this A, 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 B. I could have written this music with um, a repeat sign that said play three times, and then we would have just had the second line there, and it would have been done. So if you can notice that pattern, you'll learn it a lot faster. And finally, let's look at the counts first. And then we'll go back and write in the pitches, and we'll be done. So the counts. Let me get a note here. We need an F sharp to start. F sharp. One, two, and a three, four. One, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three, four. One, two, and a three, and four, and one, two, and a three, four. One, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three, four. One, two, and a three, and four, and one, two, and a three, four. One, two, and a three, and four. One, two, and a three, four. One, two, and a three, and four, and one, and a three. And a one and two and three four one triple it and one. That should be four counts because it's a whole note. One two three four. Oh. Let's fill in these pitches. Top line is F sharp because of the key signature. Then we have an E and an F sharp. Just try to fit those in there the best way that you can. Middle line is the B. Second measure, G, F sharp, G, E, oops, ha ha ha, even I make mistakes, getting ahead of myself, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, G, F sharp, G, B, E, D, E, D, C sharp, E, D. And then this is exactly the same as that. This is also exactly the same. But right here from this D, things change. So D, C sharp, D, E, C sharp, D, E, D, E, F sharp. D, E, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B. That just goes down the scale. F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, G, F sharp, E, oh, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp. A lot of F sharps. F sharp to G, F sharp to E and ending on F-sharp. So, one, two, F-sharp, E, F-sharp, B. One, two, G, F-sharp, G, F-sharp, E. One, two, G, F-sharp, G, B. One, two, E, D, E, D, C-sharp, E, D. I like that, it's much easier to say. And then play it two, two more times, and then you'll end up right there, and play the end. D, C-sharp, D, E, D, E, F-sharp, E, D, C-sharp, B, G, F-sharp, 
F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp. Good luck. Have fun.